Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Conversations with Jason. Super excited to have you guys back again for another episode. If this is the first time you hear what we do in this entire channel, we talk about branding, marketing, advertising, and motivation, right? We, we go through every single day. We go through what's happening in the whole advertising marketing world, in the whole business world, and how it's going to affect everybody and what we can expect to see. So without wasting any time, let's jump into today's episode. So today's episode, I really want to highlight three key, um, three key highlight newses three key highlight pieces of news. <laughs> First piece of news is actually by Moderna CEO. Uh, Moderna is the company that actually produces COVID-19 vaccine. And unfortunately, what he has actually mentioned is that chances are the COVID-19 pandemic might actually end up becoming an endemic uh, disease where it will be in all communities at all times. The only, different, uh, the only thing is that it will be in a lot lower levels just because we will have the vaccine out. It will not be gone forever. So um, the, the new normal for the future might really be that we have to wear masks whenever we enter stores or uh, we have to social distance even throughout um, even after most of the vaccine has actually panned out we will definitely have to see um, we definitely have to see how things go and I definitely think uh, with this news people will definitely be a lot more cautious about going out and then uh, brick and mortar stores will definitely still um, see a decline regardless and the push to digital has never digital advertising marketing has never been stronger so a lot of businesses will definitely need to go do that um but there are stores in the uk like primark that actually re- absolutely refuse to go online just because um their reasoning was that they would actually lose their competitive advantage if you guys are interested in that article i can link that down below as well but um, aside from that, the other piece of news that I want to talk about was really um, about big tech. Now, there's two big pieces of news in terms of Facebook and Google. First off, Facebook is going to be suspending all ads about weapon accessories till January 22nd. Google will be blocking all political ads up to January 21st. This is just to prevent any form of um, violence, uh, anybody inciting any form of violence, anybody encouraging violence, and they just want to make sure that the whole inauguration process of Joe Biden will go a lot smoother. And uh, not only that, NYU professors, um, NYU, I'm sorry, NYU Stern professor of marketing Scott Galloway actually talked together with Yahoo Live, that Yahoo Finance, to actually talk about this might actually be the beginning of the end of big tech. Just because during this entire process, um, arguably big tech actually played a role because they allowed these their platforms to actually be abused in such a sense. So um, the government might actually come in and actually really enforce and have these big companies actually be split up. You know, have uh, Facebook be broken back up into Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and WhatsApp. And we will definitely have to see how all of these things pans out in the future. But that's definitely something we have to keep in mind. Now, the final piece of news that I want to share with you guys is actually a new tool out of Steven City in the town of Virginia. And a new ad that, that the new app is actually an app that might disrupt the whole advertising agency. The app is actually called Ad Plus Me. Yeah, I think I can... Hopefully I can put up a whole little image here to show you the logo. But what Ad Plus Me is doing is like the best way to describe it is basically a billboard marketing but digital. And now I'm talking about an actual billboard. I'm talking about this will be living on your phone. And what you will what advertisers and small businesses will be able to do is that they will be able to go on their, their phones and or like if uh, I'm or it might be a web page and they might be able to select where they would like a certain ad to be and people uh, customers who use the app will receive those apps if they are within a certain geographical um, distance, right? It will be depending, it will, this will be very uh, geographically based. So if anybody's near a certain area, they will be able to receive the ad, the ads and the coupons. So it's definitely a great way to actually target very locally. And it gives a lot of power back to a lot of small businesses and a lot of um, even large corporations to actually target very locally and um one, one concept I actually learned back in like my international marketing class, right? It's really think globally, but act locally. So being able to understand a big picture, but being able to make sure you tailor every sort of message and very sort of ads to which each um, geographical region is very, very important for you to help create the kind of brand that you want to help you uh, portray the image and to really speak to the people. So this is an absolutely amazing way for um, for uh absolutely amazing app 
that actually enables a lot of small businesses as well as large businesses to actually take advantage of. And um, the incentive for why a lot of uh, why consumers might actually want to be uh, why consumers might actually want to use the app is because this app actually allows um, gives gives you as a consumer an opportunity to see a lot of fresh and free coupons in areas around you right we all love a great deal so this is a great way to actually bridge both the needs of customers as well as businesses to both provide advertising that might that might uh, sponsor a discount or might be a coupon at like a local restaurant where you could get a couple dollars off a meal or whatever it could be it really depends on the business but i definitely do see this as a, a very if a very uh, innovative way of actually providing this new service but we will have to see in the coming future how this pans out I will I do not expect this will change the whole industry overnight but it will t um, but I do expect in the coming months to a couple more years it might take a couple more years to really see how this pans out uh, but I definitely think it's a new alternative that really pulls away from the need of a lot of digital agencies just Prime just because of the sense that um, digital agencies typically run uh, a lot of businesses, a lot of money. Uh, so digital agencies are relatively expensive, or this could become a part of the service that a digital agency could actually provide for people. So being able to adopt this technology quickly and being able to understand how to implement it, this could be an amazing tool for a lot of agencies to actually include in their packages as well. So um, yeah. That is the three pieces of news that I really wanted to share with you guys. Um, aside from that, what I am personally doing right now is I am on a Udemy course um, to really talk about social media monitoring and learning about that. Again, um, I showed you guys the resource again yesterday. I definitely recommend you guys go check it out again. It's a whole giant resource and a whole bunch of free stuff for you guys. All the different free courses you guys can pick up and learn. I did add up new courses and one of the courses that I'm actually learning, right? It's the social media monitoring um, course that you can see on the same resource. There it is. Um, well, you guys can actually see it, but it will be in the list. It's literally on the first page. So if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, definitely go and check it out. Um, that's all I really have for you guys today. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. I will see you guys tomorrow, guys. See you guys.